Tonight, our Target 8 investigators are uncovering documents with shocking allegations in the unsolved murder of Amanda Lanky. She's the 13-year-old whose body was found in 2004 after she disappeared from a Nuevo County home. Records just released show that police believe the family of the suspect, Cecil Wallace, helped cover up the crime. Target 8 investigator Ken Colker is live in studio right now with a story that you'll only see here on 24-Hour News 8. Ken? Sue, these court documents provide the best look yet at what police believe happened to Amanda Lanky. Amanda disappeared in June 2004 while spending the night with Cecil Wallace's stepdaughter at their home in White Cloud. Two weeks later, mushroom hunters found her body in the Manistee National Forest. Until now, police had identified Wallace only as a person of interest. But today, a detective in the case told Target 8, quote unquote, he strongly believes that Wallace killed her and that police continue to investigate those they believe covered for him. Wallace committed suicide in 2011 after being charged with sexually molesting two girls, but he was never charged in Amanda's death. The newly released records describe the suspect's sister, a former cop, as the family consultant who allegedly had helped Wallace get out of trouble before. Sources told police that Candace Wallace Baumgartner had covered up her brother's drug dealing while she worked as a White Cloud police officer. They alleged that she had in the past, quote unquote, coached her brother how to cover up a crime scene by wiping away fingerprints and planting someone else's cigarette butts for DNA. They also say she told the witness not to talk to police about Amanda's death. Court records show Nuevo County prosecutors last May issued investigative subpoenas to nine people who may have knowledge about the death. They include seven relatives of Cecil Wallace, including his sister, son, daughter, stepdaughter, and a nephew. One witness told police that Cecil Wallace power washed his deck and garage between Amanda's disappearance and the discovery of her body. Police say the day after the discovery, when they went to search the Wallace home, they found his girlfriend cleaning the bedroom where Amanda was last seen. The girlfriend, police say, refused to cooperate and told another witness not to talk. We could not reach the family today, but under questioning by the prosecutors last May, kept secret until now, Wallace's sister denied any cover-up, said her brother did not kill Amanda, and accused police of harassing her family. Candace Wallace Baumgartner and her son are charged with perjury in this case for allegedly lying to the prosecutor. Those charges are pending. I'm Target 8 investigator Ken Colker.